Oh my goodness. This is amazing. A good day starts with a good coffee. Hi guys. It's Sunday and I don't have anything better to do than driving into my store to do a teardown of the thing. You have voted the thing and I will deliver today. Oh yeah, this is just just a mess here. I was unable to clean here. It was so cold. Future tear downs, future tear downs. And here it is, the thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 Philips three. Here you have it. This is the Spitzenberger and Spies power amplifier. No, it's not an audio amplifier. It's a high frequency power amp. Mm, wow. So here is a look at the Spitzenberger and Spies website. Uh, I've never heard of this manufacturer before. Current and voltage sources, AC voltage amplifiers. EV series. So this is the more modern unit, I guess. Here we have a PDF. Wide frequency range, AC power amplifier system. Component testing. Wow, this one is looking nice as well. This is the model that I have on my bench. 600 watts continuous output power, 45 kilograms. So I have the type H and the frequency ranges from 15 kilohertz to 200 kilohertz that's nice here's the input 15 kilohertz to 200 kilohertz output 600 watts uh, output voltage switchable from 150 volts to 300 volts range last tested 2006 so my guess is this was manufactured in th uh, third week of 1996 Shuko type power socket connector and dozens of TO3 transistors. Do you want to have a look inside? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> look at this transformer! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Look at the power bank of uh, electrolytic capacitors. Wow! Filtering! Wow! High power resistors. Wow, this is amazing. This is the large heatsink section. <laughs> Requires two large fans. The transformer is epic. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Click to release. Here's the first card. Oh, nice. Gold-plated connectors. No, I don't scrap this unit for gold. <laughs> don't worry. That's quite nice. High-quality Philips uh, caps. Oh, only 85 uh, degrees Celsius. Rectifier, error capacitor. It has a very high Q factor. Uh, an unbelievable high Q factor. This is a very good coupling capacitor. Texas Instruments TL783C um, op amp, a relay, nice transistors, optocoupler. Next board, this one is very nice too. A lot of trimmers, Aero MK, MKT capacitors. And this is a more complex card. Very interesting to see. By the looks of it, these are matched transistors. Um, very interesting heatsink on both sides. 
but no parts. There's no part on this side of the heatsink. Probably they get some heat out with these uh, brass type screws instead of uh, the common steel screws. Lots and lots of resistors. Philips capacitor. These are already branded BC components. Now this is a symmetrical layout and uh, given the fact that they are using um, matched transistors, I would say this is the driver board. Also it is located next to the heatsink and keep in mind the whole thing is built for 200 kilohertz, you want to have a linear amplification from 15 kilohertz to 200 kilohertz. Very interesting to see. Only few components are in place. Mm, I'm loving it. Here are the cards that I've already shown. This one I didn't show yet. I love this detail here. The uh, card is stuck. And if you push this button here, the board is released. Here we have this tiny hole. This is how it works. This is most likely a test socket. I don't like these connectors here. Röderstein capacitors, nice. These are 100 volt and there is a whole bunch of it, nice. I don't really get it. I thought this is a symmetrical power supply with a uh, plus minus let's say 50 volts 60 volts 80 volts but look at this there's a connection between both rails and here is the amazing transformer wow <laughs> look at this extreme core wow this i guess is a linear regulated power supply op-amps, op driver and uh, the main linear regulator, which I guess is just a power transistor. NPN, most likely, built 1995 by Motorola in Mexico. Yeah, of course, I have asked the manufacturer to send me schematics, but yeah. And another card that is, uh, yeah, empty. This is a 24 volt uh, regulator <laughs> and another power supply uh, card. And this one is really nice. Look at that. Mm. Rectifier, loading caps, and linear regulator. 5 volts, 15 volts, negative and positive 15 volts. A little board underneath. Looks like an afterthought. Let's have a look at this impressive power amp section. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. Wow, this is amazing. So how to service this? We should be able to pull it out somehow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is so beautiful. Really, this is so beautiful. Wow. So these components are all in parallel. 
there's probably half of the modules for the positive half wave and half for the negative half wave. Wow. This is amazing. Look at this. This is very interesting. Wow. So the BU X41 is a high current NPN silicon transistor. They are intended for use in switching and linear applications in military and industrial equipment. Nice. We have a total power dissipation of 120 watts for each single unit. Wow. This one is very fast. Down in there we have some large semiconductors. I don't know exactly which type. And we have an inrush current limiter, a uh, 2.2 ohms resistor, which is in series with the power transformer. Uh, and after a few seconds, it gets bypassed. And last but not least, I want to show you the mechanical structure of this unit. And I find it uh, kind of impressive. There's a nice aluminium structure. Very thick plates of aluminium. Thick aluminium plates everywhere. And the power transformer is mounted on a very thick aluminium plate. UI132B. Wow, this is so large. This transformer is amazing. I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. I would be very happy about any thumbs up, any support. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs>